What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this super crazy 3D Frutigore Metro visualizer effect. I think it looks insane. It's a style that was so popular back then in old music videos. Just a style that is really resurging right now. You see everywhere Frutigore Metro this, Y2K affects that. So if you wanna learn all of the sauce, make sure to stick around with me until the end. So in this video, I'm gonna be using Pele's Frutigore Metro pack, which is definitely the go-to when it comes to creating those effects to really get that final look with it. Seconds, I'll leave the link down in the description. He was kind enough to also give a discount code for you guys you can use code gus and you'll get a 15 percent off on your purchase with that said let's get right into this so what i did first is i got three clips of biba doobie as you can see they're all rotoscope if you don't know how to rotoscope i'm gonna show you real quick let's just say i duplicate this one command d remove this you click twice and then you're gonna have this layer right here. You wanna press on option W. Now you can just rotoscope it, do something like that. Doesn't need to be like super precise. You're gonna press on freeze and that's how you're gonna have your rotoscope layer. So we're gonna be using those rotoscope effects a bit throughout like our scene and stuff like that. It's gonna look super good. So I'm gonna duplicate that one. We're gonna call it background clip one and then that one i'm gonna call it roto clip one and the one under i'm just gonna remove the uh, roto brush right here and we're gonna create a mask and the first thing we're gonna do is grab the rounded rectangle tool and we're just gonna drag this just like that so that we have a kind of like frame right here but it kind of like goes out of the borders, which I think looks kind of cool. We're gonna grab the roto clip one, and we're just gonna create a mask right here so that it doesn't go out of the of this part right here, as if it's like really in a frame. So we're just gonna mask it. I'm using G for the pen tool. And now this is what we have so far. One thing that I want is, I don't want the bottom part to go out of the frame. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna duplicate the background clip, and we're gonna use that as an alpha. So we're just gonna do background alpha there we go and then we're going to tell the roto clip to use the background alpha as a track mat so that it doesn't lead out of it if you want the head to be able to get out but not the bottom that's a super cool effect and we can do that by we can just click on mass feather right here and then we can expand all of this because this is just the alpha right remember so now that it's like that we hide it the head is going to be able to get out but not the rest so we have our first super cool frame effect we can also give a stroke to the background so we're gonna do right click layer styles and then stroke I'm sure that's gonna look super nice we're gonna make it white and then increase the size as well so now we have a super cute frame right here so we're gonna have this clip and this clip so now we're gonna set up our 3d scene and now to get started with our y2k style so i'm gonna go to Pele's Frutigor Metro pack. So you have all of these really awesome textures that we can use as backgrounds to start. So I think, I think I'm gonna use purple plant background right here. As you can see, you have this super fire like Y2K Frutigor Metro like background. And that's what I'm gonna put behind everything. That looks insane to be honest. That looks just like the frame like this. That looks super dope. And also what we can do is you see like these three, we're just gonna pre-comb them together, call it B bop one, cause it's a B -B 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 clip, whatever. And then we're gonna go in it. I think I want the animation to last like three seconds. So I'm gonna do that duration like four, something like four seconds. You do that by doing command K and then changing it right here. And then all of that, we can just copy and paste it, but I'm just gonna do reverse instead. And then we can do the same thing right here, command C, command V, and then just duplicate it. That way we have this that reverses. So now we have this right here. So now not only that, I'm gonna incorporate more of these super fire overlays. So one that I love a lot is those speakers. I feel like they're really essential to really get that look that we're going for. Also, make sure to stick around and subscribe because after this, we're gonna be setting all of this up in a crazy like 3D scene, all of that crazy 3D movement. Now we're setting up the assets first. So we have this speaker one right here. I think I'm gonna do speaker three. Let's just drag some random ones right here. They're all super heat. Speaker four as well, why not? So you have all of these really fire speaker ones. So we're gonna start with those. 
So basically my workflow is I'm going to start with a couple ones. I'm going to set it up in 3D. And once we get to move, I'm going to add more elements and fit them within the 3D scene. And now it's time for the sauce. We're going to be animating this kind of style and give it that old like Y2K animation style within a 3D scene. Let me show you how. So we're going to create a new null object by doing right click new null. And then we're going to duplicate that a couple of times. So we want to do that to have really like smooth movements instead of keyframing like this and then creating another thing. It's going to be really stiff. So let's just duplicate that by doing command D. So we have a couple of these and now we're going to link all of those together. Boom, boom, boom. Want to do the same thing. All right. So you also want to make sure that all of these no layers are in 3D and basically everything is in 3D when I think about it, like literally everything. Put everything as a 3D layer and make sure to link everything but the nulls. So you're going to do click, shift click, and then link that to the first null right here. So what that does is now when we move this, as you can see, it's all moving together. But now we need to place them where like in a 3D space. I always start with the background. You want to make it like go super far. So we're going to do like 2000 and then you scale it up and then B by one. I'm going to leave it here. We have the second beeb, the second clip that I'm going to put. Basically, what you want to do is make it go up like this. We're going to put it like at the right because we're going to do a camera movement where it's going to go there and then we're going to see it. Everything's going to make sense. Yeah, something like that makes sense. So let's start with that for now. So I'm just playing with the position so that we get something different for each one. And now let's create our camera so that we get that depth of field effect. Let's go. We're going to create new camera, press on OK. And now you might need to adjust as you can see, like the scale. We're going to adjust that and the camera and the camera. We're going to open this camera options and we want to make sure that the depth of field is activated. That's what's going to give us that kind of like blurry background effect. I usually put it at like maybe like 700, something like that. Yeah, like 700, something like that. And now let's start animating. So our first movement, we're going to keyframe on the first null, the position. So we're going to do P and then click on the stopwatch. And then one second later, we're going to go like this. As you can see, there's something happening right here. We're getting our 3D effect right here. So I'm just going to lean like this as well. So we see more of the second one, like be with doobie right here. So those keyframes, I'm going to ease them, pressing F9, and then let's go into graph editor and create a movement that looks like this. I usually like putting the influence like 70, 72. That way that's going to happen. Now, of course, we need to make the that one like appear. Oh, yeah, there we go. But even before that, as you can see, it's super smooth. But that kind of look we're going for like a Y2K, like an old look motion graphic look. So I'm going to add an adjustment layer. You can do right click new adjustment layer and add posterize time to it and make it 12 frames per second. Now we're going to have this. Now we're going to have this. So that's pretty clean. I think I could make this a bit longer because the other one is not big enough. So we're going to put another background. We're going to go with I'm going to go with classic five right here that we can put under everything. As you can see, it already has like that kind of like low res Y2K look that we're looking for. It looks insane. So you just want to make sure that it's a 3D layer. I'm going to put it down in the back before everything. That's just how it goes. And then increase the scale. Yeah, just like that. That's going to look pretty sweet. Let's see what that gives us. So that's pretty clean. It kind of like changes backgrounds. Also, if you want to add some more motion so that it seems natural, you can go to the first null. We're going to create an expression, do alt click on orientation, and then we're going to type wiggle parenthesis one and then maybe like two. That way it's going to create a sort of like steady movements that I always feel like it always looks good. So now as you can see, you get something pretty smooth right here. Looks super nice. So now we're going to get to our second movement right here. So one thing you always want to do when you animate with a camera and with nulls. So you don't want to start animating when it's right here. You want it to be a steady movement. So in the middle, I'm going to animate once again. 
Oh, I forgot to do, I forgot to attach the classic five to the null. Don't forget to do that. So as you can see, we have this right here, bam. And then I think I'm gonna back up some more, or maybe we could go someplace else, something like this. And then we're gonna adapt the background accordingly. We don't have to worry. So let's drag all of these, those keyframes, and then we're gonna do the same thing, something like 73. There we go, let's see what that looks like now. So now it goes kind of a little too fast in my opinion. So I'm gonna drag this right here so that the main movement is, you see what I mean? Boom, and then boom, that's gonna look super clean. And the background, you one thing we can do to really make it stretch out is use a repetile effect. So yeah, once you use a repetile effect, you don't have to worry about like black borders or none of that crap. So boom, it goes there. And then we can put our last clip, our Beeb 3. We're just gonna press on P and then drag it until it seems clear right here. Pretty clean. All right, now let's see what we have. So as you can see, boom, it goes there. And then you have the other clip right here, which looks pretty nice. Now, as you can see, we have our camera movement. It goes to her. We could make it appear a bit earlier. Low key, I would need to have it for quite a while that looks super clean that looks awesome and one thing i like to do to add some more sauce to it is i'm gonna do i'm gonna duplicate it and then i'm gonna drag it there and you want to make sure that the one under it's like yeah really like behind something like that and then we're gonna give it a color this is kind of like a 2000 like ipod touch to it i think it looks super cool so we can do that another time always make sure that the one under you're putting it a bit further down this Z position. And then that one, it can be like white. Super sweet, that looks nice. Let's see what that gives us. That looks super fire. However, I kind of don't like that we're seeing like the borders right here. So I might just like make it go down a little. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fire. And then we're gonna end the animation. You can just press on U to see like what, where everything is. If we press on U, nothing is going on. That's cause you didn't animate it yet. Now I really love this effect right here. It looks super clean. And what's really fun is now we can add some more assets to really emphasize on it. I love the butterflies that's within the pack as well. I'm gonna drag those in there. Now we can just make all of them 3D. We can link them to the first null as we should. And now just like that in a single drag and drop, you're gonna have those beautiful butterflies. However, you wanna make sure that you put them, I'm just gonna put that under, there we go. So now it has these beautiful butterflies, but I really wanna put them at like different spots so we get like a depth effect. So I'm just gonna arrange those. Butterfly three can be a little like further there. Butterfly two, something like that. And then butterfly one. There we go. Let's look at what that gives us. And then we're gonna create a last movement, I think, so that it doesn't become boring or anything. We're gonna go back to like our initial state. So in the middle, I'm gonna do this. And then there, I'm gonna zoom back. Maybe to like, let's figure it out together. Let's keep dragging this. I could zoom back into something like the initial. That way we could have like somewhat of a loop. So I ease them and then I'm gonna do like this for this graph so that it has this kind of like acceleration. That looks so cool. That looks insane. So as you can see, we have this Y2K effect right here. You also have, so this is our effect right here. It looks so fire. I'd say the only thing about it is getting that final low resolution look. So I'm just gonna do command A and then pre-comp it. And then we could call this Y2K animation. There we go. And then if you want that kind of like low res effect, we could do something like mosaic. And then, you know what I mean? Have that kind of like low res effect. Now I find like the best way to do it really is when I go over to Frutigo Metro presets and I'm gonna slap on the default Metro. Now this one, it instantly gives it that kind of like 2000 like low res effect it's crazy like and now as you can see you get this super fire like that kind of like old Frutiger metro effect it even puts like those black borders right here it looks super crazy i want to give a big shout out to pele 
for making me able to like feature like those presets right here. They look insane. Nah, that looks so clean. That looks insane. You really get that old like 2000 music video look. Yo, that looks insane. You instantly get that kind of like 2000 Frigor Metro look, that kind of like Y2K style, which I absolutely love. I don't feel like I cover it often on this channel. So that's gonna be our effect for today. If you wanna cop the Frigo Metro preset pack, I'll have it down below. You can use code GUS to get 50% off. If you got any value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.